G'day guys, what's happening? We're down here in Melbourne. We are at the Sandown Race Course at the Melbourne Le Leisure Fest Caravan Park down here. Got our set up, uh, parked up in Brisbane. George is up in Brisbane. It's been uh, very hard. Yes, we've flown down, flown to Melbourne. I cannot remember the last time I was on an aeroplane. So it's just been amazing being able to come down here and be a part of the show. Yeah, you haven't flown uh, in ages, but yeah, we're, we're down here. Got a beautiful motel room. This is uh, the sad day of the show. So it's a four day show down here. Got these uh, other beautiful people right here uh, <laughs> behind us here. So what we're going to be doing today is we, uh, we know that so many of you guys love looking through caravans and so do we. We're, every time we come here, it's like we've like first seen a brand yep. new caravan yeah, again. Like, like what's new? <laughs> what are the colors, the layouts? We just love it. Just going through and there's the smell of it, the look at it, it's just, yeah. And the, the setup that Freestyle RV and Lotus caravans have down here is just next, next level. friggin' level. It is massive. There's a huge friggin' circus tent. It was raining <laughs> yesterday. Everyone else is outside uh, with no cover up out there. So it's uh, just been the most, it's just, they don't do not half our stuff <laughs> at all. So it's mega awesome for the brand, their customers, uh, looking after everyone. That's just uh, what we absolutely love about this crew. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna pick some uh, Pick some vans, we're gonna randomly pick them out. Might do, you know, one or two family vans, one or two uh, without bunks possibly. Uh, and give you guys a look through, because I know that not everyone can make it down to shows and, and all that sort of stuff. But our sort of, you know, our sort of opinions and that. We might even do a little bit of a sneak peek of what's coming oh. for us personally. So <laughs> anyway, let's go. this off-limits triaxle van and I've got a very special guest here with me this is Kane he's the national national sales manager of Lotus so he's gonna take us through all the specs of this van so let's head inside and have a look as you can see with our cabinetry it's all stylized so this material is a very high-end material if you were to mm -hmm. renovate a kitchen at home the top of the line is a two-pack kitchen but the next samples they're gonna show you with this, which is Stylite, and we obviously have it in, this is a matte or a gloss finish. But the caravans, if you can see, it's not just about having a pretty cupboard. It's all double partitioned throughout. And this is all ply, so there's no MDF in the van whatsoever. And it's all CNC cut. So there's no human error. The machine doesn't know how to cut any different. But double gas strut, triple blum hinge all throughout and really solid. You can see that solid, it's what you don't see that counts. And then as you can see, with all of our hinging, it's all soft close, all throughout. You can see here, all solid. There's no MDF in the van. Metal side runners, and all millimeter perfect. We use high-end quality European fixies throughout. So really high-end cabinet makers that build off-road vans. And most manufacturers just rely on this little hinge here. We don't. So all of your drawers internally are lockable. So you can lock them away internally. And also our, our kick space, rather than having it as waste area, it's all usable storage. And that's on all of the range, not just the off limits, that's on everything. And obviously colors, you can choose and create all that own color scheme. This isn't for everyone being blue, but uh, some people love it, but you can build and create bench top, splash back, overheads, even the infill panel, rather than just being a plain white, you can create and build that and make it your own. Same with all your paneling. This one has a splash back on the back wall. This particular leather isn't real leather, but all of our other van in the range are real Italian leather. But this here, very popular, but it's actually a fake leather, this, this particular one. Um, all of our inclusions, USB charging, Nava, Clipsal, Fusion Audio, Sirocco fans, compressor fridge, all of the above is, is all standard inclusions. This particular model, flick mixer, fear filter drinking water, standard water, dedicated pumps, all of our electrical. Everyone sees this and thinks it's complicated. It's not, it's just a thermal circuit breaker throughout. 
dedicated aircon pumps, continuous gas hot water, your water gauges, obviously your water tanks and your grey water. We use a mixture of Enerdrive and Red Arc. We've got systems with both, but this here, all of your power points throughout the van are now inverted, which is very handy. Uh, the option now as well for everyone, whether you're wanting an oven, no oven, uh, it's very popular to have that deleted induction cooktops throughout the range so we can delete and modify those types of things so induction cooktops um, grills air fryers creating space smaller sinks we can accommodate needs in and around your, your kitchen needs um, when it comes to the structure so the actual van itself it's an aluminium front roof and rear but it, it's a Maranti sidewall, and I can show you outside why that is so important, especially for an off-road caravan. It's got to have that flexibility and give. But I'll probably show outside and it'll explain a little bit more. So we obviously bear the Australian-made logo. All of the build, I call it 20 years of making mistakes, has got us to where we are right now. So again, that aluminium front, roof and rear, a Maranti sidewall, but it's a 32 by 32 stud. The checker plate wraps up and under and it sits in a Z channel on the chassis and it's bolted to the frame, but it's encased. All of our, we run a custom J mold and a custom H mold. So this seating surface behind here is about that large. Same as our J mold, every single screw under here is sicker flexed over. And you see here, but again, this is our own design J mold that has a larger seating surface. For this German composite panel and this is a uh, it's die bond it actually has a 15 year warranty but this is a marine grade aluminium so it's a different spec in what we're using compared to others and then you complement that with obviously all the componentry do 35 hitch or this particular van has a do 45 obviously the engineered gns chassis and then suspension wheels tires everything we use is about quality again Flipsel, Nava, 12 volt supplies, standard across the range is our entertainment hatch, obviously your fusion, your USB-C, power points, satellite provision, antenna, all here obviously on the off limits, big fusion sound bar. We run the Coopers this year, we've run BFGs previously, but always a quality brand name tire. Um, our graphics are always cutting edge. We get copied a fair bit, which is good, it's flattery. People love the look of our vans and they uh, try and emulate it. When you come to the rear of the van, this particular one's got the firewood box, jerry can holders, galvanized rear bar. On most of the range we have scrub bars, rated rear hitching points, reverse cameras. Everything in our range is generally included, which is a big key. So as many of you know, Josh and I were originally from Victoria and all our family still lives in Victoria. So as soon as my parents found out that we were coming down to the Melbourne show, they were like, yep, all right, we're coming. We haven't seen you in months. We can't wait to see you. So here are my parents, they've come down to the show to see us. And all their intention was, was just to come to the show to see us. But now they've bought their very own Lotus Freelander. <laughs> they, they have never... <laughs> <laughs> They're so excited. They have never had a caravan before in their life. I don't think my mum's really ever been camping since she was a kid, but you're not camping when you're in one of these. It's absolutely glamping. So I'm so happy for them. I'm so excited for them. Just going into retirement, this is just going to be absolutely awesome for them. And they'll be able to see us on their travels too. So cannot wait for that. It's so exciting. All right, it's going to bring back some memories going through this van. If you've been following us for a little bit, this is actually our first uh, full-time home uh, inside this layout here. And look, it always gives us a uh, little bit of special sort of memories every time we walk inside of this uh, this van when it's brand new. When we first went to the dealership, looking at our first brand new Lotus inside, looking through this, it just uh, it just felt like home, and it just gives a really sort of nice uh, nice special moment every time we look back into it. So this is sort of a van also for. Uh, a lot of people looking at like dual cab utes and stuff like that, wanting to come in, tow 23 foot, 
vans of all the fruit. It's just not the reality of it. That's what these guys are great about here is that one of the first questions is always what vehicle you're towing with and they're gonna suit the caravan you're looking at uh, to suit that vehicle because it is a big problem in today's uh, uh, out on the road with, with accidents and just, you know, overloading and all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna be looking at the 17.6 uh, Freelander today. This is our Lotus, the smallest uh, dual axle. So let's go inside and uh, take a look. Now as you walk in this van, you see the, uh, the beautiful kitchen behind us here into the east-west bed, which uh, at the moment they've got their pillows up this end for display. Uh, the TV is up here, so you can have your pillows at the other end. We actually sometimes even change it around, so you sort of have that flexibility of uh, which end of the bed you want to want to sleep on, which is uh, a good side of having an east-west bed. Now look, an east-west east -west bed for some people is just an absolute game stuff. It's like, nah, hell no, not happening. I'm not climbing over my partner. Those, those days are done, or <laughs> whatever it is. They're just uh, absolutely not keen about it at all, but there is so many pros and cons, but I, there's a lot of pros to east-west bed as well. Now, the first one, especially if you're really tall, like these beds are, don't get me wrong, I, I think it's about seven foot, maybe even a touch more. So about seven foot long. So for the, the bigger bigger people, uh, awesome. You're gonna have that length there, which is really, really good. Because in the other vans, the standard beds, if you're that tall, it can be that you're gonna have to extend the bed a little bit to be comfortable. And then that starts going into your kitchen space and you know, something's got to give. So that's a really good one there. Again, you can go, each end of the bed, you have your massive tunnel boot underneath, huge tunnel boot space. It just makes it uh, absolutely ridiculous. And you got this beautiful uh, storage underneath the cupboards here, underneath the bed there. Awesome, looks good. All the nice finish in the front with your cupboards, plenty of space uh, under there. And the other beauty of it is having the east west bed is you save, again, you save so much room inside of the van. This is a 17.6 foot van in here, but in the kitchen and living area here, it feels like a 19.6, really. So you're getting that uh, compact, there's a massive payload uh, on this van as well. So if you're gonna be wanting to take, like us, taking the motorbikes and uh, taking the toys and really wanting to load the thing up, uh, you have a lot of payload in this van too. So this is sort of, it's a really, really good layout. But coming in here into the, again, like I said, it's just, uh, it, it's nice and open. So this has the, the cafe style uh, lounge in here, which is awesome. Uh, you can sort of opt that out. I'm not gonna go into changes, we're still on the floor plans that we're, in, but you can sort of, you know, a bench seat or something like that, which might even open up uh, the area down here a bit more as well. Plenty of bench space on here. I actually really like these colors in here too. These are really similar to the colors that, uh, that we have, that we had in our first van and in our van now. So, um, again, yeah, massive, massive kitchen area. Uh, got your oven here. Again, it just feels, feels really spacious. Got your floor to ceiling pantry. Michaela's absolute favorite thing everyone here is talking about van. She's like, you need to have the floor to ceiling pantry. It's like a, an absolute, uh, absolute must for her. So all your storage up here. That's where you got all your, uh, all your gear, all your red arc stuff, uh, everything up there, all your gauges, hot water system, uh, all that sort of stuff. Over this side, again, plenty of overhead storage up here. Uh, just massive amount of storage in here. Again, just, you can have, you know, three or four adults in here standing around and hanging out and, and it doesn't feel small. So. Let's go back here and we'll check out the bathroom. So you're getting the same size uh, bathroom in here as pretty much your 19.6 fans in that as well. So the only sort of difference in here that makes it feel a little bit smaller is this is your, your hanging space in here or you can have shelves in there to uh, have cupboards in here. So this is another a, a probably pro or a con for some people is uh, obviously you don't have your hanging space uh, by having the east-west bed. So that goes in here. So again, you get plenty of uh, plenty of space in here, but it's gonna give a little bit of uh, Sacrifice a little bit of room uh, in your bathroom. So you still get the nice big sink. Uh, your wa washing machine is underneath here. So you have your uh, your room on top there as well for hair straighteners and stuff like that. I'm not sure who would have an air hair straightener, but um, you have your hair straighteners and stuff there. Still got your nice uh, overhead cupboards up here. So plenty of storage. I will admit after sort of coming from our van, how we don't have this and you got to have more bench space, it definitely makes it feel a little bit more open. But again, a 17.6 foot van uh, with everything you have in here. Same size shower, you've got your outside uh, long tunnel boot out there too, which you, uh, you you could delete and have a bigger shower as well. Or again, it's this more uh, exter external storage out there as well. But all in all, I just, when we keep looking back to this van, it's just like, it is such an awesome layout. It's compact. So when you are going, you know, the sort of gnarly off road tracks and that, it's, you know, it hasn't got the, the big length as like a 20 foot van and all that and just the, the payload, and I just think that little, that smaller size, just gives that a bit more of a, uh, just ultimate sort of um, off-road sort of mean look, I think. So 
The old Freelander 17.6 foot, still one of my top uh, top layouts. G'day guys, we hope you're enjoying today's episode. We want to quickly interrupt because we have an extremely exciting announcement to make for you guys. As you would have seen, we're wearing our Travelling Campus merch. As we've been going around Australia for quite a while now, and the extremely exciting announcement is we now have this available to you guys. So we'd love to see you out there. This is our Team Travelling Campus range. Love to see you guys out there exploring, for driving in our gear. They're available right now on our website. So we've got men's, women's, kids, tees, and even some hoodies. So you can jump on right now and shop and they'll be posted straight to you. Also on our website, we've got heaps of blog posts. So how we travel with Georgia, so traveling with a dog. We've got all about our car and our van. And also we've got how we travel full time. So if that's something you've been interested in, you can jump in and check it out and we can even help you if that's something you want to do. Exactly, and look, we don't ask too much from you guys at all, but look, we'd love you to take just 10 seconds to make sure, because we've seen the stats, and a lot of you guys that have watched frequently aren't actually subscribed to the channel, so please just jump across, hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell, that means you won't miss a, a one minute of traveling camps, and look, give the video a like, jump in the comments, we love to engage with you guys, so look, just let us know that your favorite takeaway, your favorite part of the episode, chuck something in there, we'll get back to you and we can engage with you guys in there, as that's what we're trying to do, is build a traveling campus community of all traveling like-minded people uh, as we've been going around we've been meeting so many of you guys it's been absolutely what amazing we absolutely love that's what we've been all about so again guys back to the episode thanks so much all right now we're going to check out a bunk van i know so many of you out there want to see the bunk vans and you can't see that from us because we, obviously we don't have kids so no bunk van here but we've jumped into the 19 foot trooper so this again another east west bed but there are so many perks in a bunk van with an east west bed you just gain so much more space and with kids running around in here you definitely want the extra space so we've got the east west bed here and the pillows in this van are meant to be up this end because you can see we've got the touch lights just here and also your radio point and if you opted for a truma gas heater that would also go up here so you're laying in bed it's cold you can just flick it on and you don't even have to get out of bed so perfect up here they've got the sirocco fan so you can point that, you know, while you're in the kitchen or the lounge or while you're in bed. So I love that about the Sirocco fans. You can just turn them around anyway, no matter where you are in the van. So obviously being an east-west bed, you do lose your side robes, but you've got all the overhead cupboard storage up here as well as underneath here. So you can pop your clothes in containers or even like little cubes. There's so much storage in here. It just goes so deep as well. Moving into the kitchen and lounge area now. On my right, we've got the massive bench seat and table plenty of room for you to sit around there enjoy a meal or if you've got schoolwork or even just some craft projects plenty of room to sit down here and enjoy all that together coming up to my left here we've got the kitchen again massive bench space plenty of room for you to pop your chopping board down and prep whatever it is you're cooking if you're cooking outside you can hand it straight out or come over to the oven and cooktop and above here we've got heaps of storage above the range hood so a massive deep cupboard in there another massive cupboard up above your sink and then your microwave coming toward the back of the kitchen we've got the massive Dometic fridge heaps of room in here for all your soft drink and water now let's check out the back of the van where the bunk and bathroom is all right so in this particular layout we've got the three bunks obviously you can opt that for two right behind me here is all the storage for all your kids clothes so much room in there and then underneath here you've got your massive washing machine I don't know how many parents I've seen on the road that are just like I can fit so much in these uh, front loader washing machines so it's an absolute godsend for some parents while they're traveling into the bathroom here as you can see there's probably only enough room for one of you to get ready which that's kind of a good thing while you're traveling with kids it might give you a little bit of me time away from the kids while you're getting ready for your day so you've got your sink and your overhead cupboard up here just down here you've got your toilet and then in the shower massive shower so again with the shower if you've got little ones there is heaps of room in there if you do need to jump in with your little one to help wash them up for ready for bedtime all right super exciting here we're inside of the 20.6 uh off grid so off grids all of the family range all the family layouts so you can sort of do these pick this layout and do it in a, in a true respect yeah uh, you can do that so don't think that this layout just off grid and that's all you can get so the reason we're in this van is it's sort of it's super exciting because uh we are building a new van so uh early next year you're going to be getting a bit of an insight and uh seeing what's going on there now look we want to le let you on a little bit of a secret now we're not we don't really like being the whole secretive type and not letting you guys know stuff but the reason we're not fully revealing this because we haven't even finalized it yet so we we don't even know everything yet either but there is something super cool because uh there's something that we're going to be sticking with 
but with a little bit of a change. So behind us here, this layout is awesome. Really, really popular. People are loving the offset bed and so are we. So it just opens it up so much more. With your typical island bed, awesome still. But the thing we didn't love about it is just, it sort of feels tight uh, down the sides there. Now you get a big, massive walkway down the side there into your hanging space. And it just, I just feel like it opens up the floor uh, so much more. And plus you get an extra tunnel boot outside to storage under the bed. Now, the reason we're showing this one here, because on our van, the bed is offset to the door side. Now what we're going to be doing on the next one uh, is it's going to be offset to the other side, just like this floor plan. So it's going to look, I think pretty much that is going to pretty much look exactly sort of uh, the way it's going to look. But we do have, we're going to have a little bedside table uh, down the side there. Uh, to like having our water bottles and stuff down there. But this is going to be pretty much what it's going to look like down here. It's one of sort of the biggest changes because we just, we love our 19.6. We love our layout. Everything's perfect. We are making a couple of tiny little tweaks. And another thing that we're looking at doing is again, similar to this here, is sort of maybe sticking with the bench seat. Now it's not finally, we haven't finalized that yet. At the moment, we've got the L-shaped couch, which we love it. Michaela sits there all the time, watching TV, doing work and the table, whatever. But the only sort of thing, literally, like the little bit is once you sort of walk in here with the bench seat, as it does definitely open up this whole uh, kitchen living space here again. Just feels, it just feels like it just flows so much more when you come in. It just feels like there is so much more uh, room in here. So we're thinking about doing the bench seat here as well. So it's really going to look pretty similar to this. We are, we are going to change up our colors. We love the colors we have in our van, but we've done that for two vans now and it's just time to change up. So got some cool things uh, happening there, but pretty much this here is gonna be a rough idea of what it's gonna look like. So that's a super early insight for you guys. We're super excited to share that with you. We're actually literally uh, gonna be finalizing stuff for the next few days to figure out what we're doing. So, uh, so stay tuned there. So while we're in this van, we did say it's a family van. So we do have three bunk beds in here. I guess the question is, are we gonna be filling these bunk beds with dogs or babies? <laughs> I guess that's the uh, the big question, but that's what's in this in this floor plan uh, at the moment is you do have bunks here. We're just focusing on that side of it. That's the exciting part down there for us. It's pretty much going to look like that. But in this layout, uh, you do have your three bunks. And no, they're not going to be filled with babies. So that's, <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not going to leave you hanging there. No, they're not. There will be no bunks, no bunks in, in the new van. But we do have three bunks here. Similar to the layout before that uh, Michaela just showed you guys is again, heap of storage in there. Uh, you got your washing machine under there, bathroom that in there. So, but down in here with that 20.6, it obviously is a bit more of a bigger van. So this area in here with that offset bed, maximized storage, and it just feels uh, massive in here. And again, it's just, it's one of our favorite uh, favorite layouts in here. It's been a popular one, people coming in, loving the offset bed. This is obviously gonna be available uh, for you guys too, but yeah, we're super excited to, uh, to show you uh, everything there. It's super exciting for us, but uh, early next year, uh, it's gonna be there to start our uh, new year off with a brand new van. Let's go back and uh, we'll check out the kitchen here. Uh, so we're gonna, oh, sorry, wait, stop for a second. Stop. That's weird. Wait, Attention wait. exhibitors. The event will open to the public in third. Here. Yeah. In the dining room. What? Again. Heaps of room. Oh. <laughs> 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 Did I know that's in there? <laughs> 